tracking, WUSA 9's first alert weather, DC's most accurate. Chris, if they go 0 and 2, it frees me up for a lot of yard work in the fall. You know, <laughs> it's not altogether a bad thing. A live look outside. It's 70 right now. Winds out of the northeast at 7. And we have clouds, but radar is quiet. So we're in pretty good shape. The clouds will keep temperatures down a little bit. Tonight, not as chilly, but comfortable. Then the bus stop, 50s and 60s, but it will be dry. It will be cloudy tomorrow morning. The commutes are going to be dry. No yellow weather alert yet. A few showers and storms throughout this week. Kind of an increasing chance as each day goes by, really. And then we're tracking Jose for next week. We're not trying to alarm anybody, but it's there. It's going to do a loop de loop and then kind of get poised to uh, head toward the southeast coast late in the weekend, early next week. We'll keep an eye on it. Future cast. Well, just clouds. This is 830. By 10 o'clock, we're still looking at clouds. Temperatures by 6 a.m. 56 in Gaithersburg, about 58 or 59 in Bowie, 57 in Manassas. There will be some showers down toward Harrisonburg and west of I-81, but as far as we're concerned, just clouds tomorrow. That's about it, really. 65 at 9 o'clock, we have this easterly wind. So between that and the, and the clouds, that will keep temperatures down. Our average high is still 82. By 6 p.m., about this time tomorrow night, we're 72 downtown, 71 in Manassas. Even in the 60s, upper 60s, out toward Cumberland and also a Romney and even 71 in La Plata. So temperature wise, a very comfortable day and certainly you can do anything you want outside tomorrow and be comfortable doing it. By 10 o'clock tomorrow night, well, we're 68 downtown, 62 in Gaithersburg, 64 in Manassas. Yeah, showers getting a little closer to us. And quite frankly, I think we have a pretty good chance of a few showers south of town tomorrow night, but they'll be gone by Wednesday morning uh, for your commute. So. Tonight, mostly cloudy, not as chilly, but certainly comfortable. 55 to 65, winds out of the east at about 10. We had a real fall preview over the weekend. The temps were in the 40s every morning uh, in the burbs. 50s and 60s Tuesday morning, so no 40s and 50s. We'll trade that for 50s and 60s. Mostly cloudy. I'll throw a light shower in there, mainly south and west of town. I don't even think that's going to be a huge deal. And then by afternoon, mostly cloudy and mild with some showers possible. High temps around 75 and winds easterly at about 10, keeping the temps down. So 60s across the board to start. A lot of clouds by 11 o'clock near 70 and by 1 o'clock about 73. Now we get into Wednesday, a little better chance of showers. Low 80s, Thursday, a couple showers, low 80s. Right now, no yellow weather alerts yet. Friday, some showers or storms possible. Only a couple on Saturday. Weekend looks okay. A uh, few on Sunday, back in the low 80s. And then 81 on Monday. See the clouds? That could be courtesy of Jose. Bruce. Topper, thanks a lot. Okay, if you want to help out the victims down in uh, Florida, we've got answers to your Irma questions. We've got our WUSA 9 help desk operating right now. Call 202-895-5560. They will be on hand until 8 o'clock tonight, taking your phone calls and trying to get you the answers you need. Again, the number 202-895-5560. You can also reach us uh, on Facebook or Twitter. Back in a moment.